Are your headlines driving the most impressions and engagement that they could be? Film at 11. Just kidding, 11 is right now. I'm Olivia with Whole Whale, and today we're going to talk about how to analyze the effectiveness of your content headlines using a tool called headlines.sharethrough.com. Okay, but what is headlines.sharethrough.com in addition to being a mouthful to say? Uh, Headlines.sharethrough is a tool that has been put out by Sharethrough, which is an all-in-one advertising platform. Uh, they use this tool in order to determine how likely people are to see your content based on the headline and then engage with it. Originally, this was developed primarily for advertising. However, uh, we can also look at this for the content that we're writing, the headlines that accompany the resources on our website. ShareThrough gives us three scores. There is an overall quality score. There is a score for impressions, which is basically the number of people you will, who will be seeing your ad. And there's also a score for engagement, the likelihood that those people are going to engage with your ad or your content based on that headline. ShareThrough uses a, an algorithm based on a lot of their own internal data, but they also uh, take into account one of our favorite models, the BJ Fogg behavioral model. And uh, when they determine these scores, they set them up on a scale of 0 to 100, 100 obviously being the best, and then break that down even further into a color-coded system. So red is a danger zone, yellow is average, and green is high quality. Note that uh, Whole Whale does not receive any promotional consideration for telling you about ShareThrough or headlines.sharethrough today. We just think it's an amazing tool and we use it all the time. Okay, so speaking about how it works, I just mentioned BJ Thog's behavioral model. ShareThrough has around 300 other elements it takes into consideration. Most of them are proprietary from their own work in advertising, but we can talk about Fog. So if we are looking at a matrix in terms of triggers that compel users to take action, we want to look at the ability to act on those triggers as well as the motivation to act on those triggers. Just because someone can do something, just because it is easily done, doesn't mean they're necessarily going to do it. We also want to make sure that there is a high motivation. If we look at a threshold, it doesn't go just straight down. We are going to see it on a curve Triggers fail in the bottom and uh, towards the top if it is hard to do or not motivating enough to do it. And where we want to go is up and to the right, where we see that there is a high amount of motivation and a pretty easy time to take action on what you're trying to motivate the person to do. This is applicable in any number of iterations beyond headlines, beyond content. But certainly with content, especially with content that's being marketed through search engines like Google, we can generally count on it being fairly easy to do, but we want to make sure that we're motivating them. And ShareThrough's engagement and impression scores give us just that. How likely are we on a scale of 0 to 100 to motivate people to click on our content on our headlines? The impression score is where we start because that's going to dictate how many people actually see the piece, the headline that you have written. From there, we look at engagement, which is how likely are they to do the thing? Because just because that tree falls in the woods does not mean that someone is going to click on the link to watch it fall. So it's a fairly simple website to use. Go to headlines.sharethrough.com and enter in your proposed headline. We see here when we enter the headline, how to use headlines.sharethrough.com, our overall quality score is 61. Scrolling a bit deeper, we can see that the engagement score is 53, which is average, and the impression score is 47, which is below average. We also can see here some suggestions for each of these scores to up our game. For instance, on engagement score, they recommend using humanizing language or even celebrities in your headline. Uh, if you can use Drake in your headline and have it make sense, please do that and email it to us. Uh, on the impression side, we see that they talk about context words as well as mentioning a brand such as yours or a brand you want to be associated with to increase brand lift. So taking all of this into consideration, I'm going to, in, I'm going to experiment a little bit here and write how to improve. 
your content and your life. If I can spell your correctly. With headlines dot share through dot com and we're going to hit analyze again and we can see those numbers going up to an overall quality score of 67 which is uh, six up from our previous quality score the engagement score is still 53 but our impression score has shot up to 73 we can also, from here, scroll down and look at our history to review past headlines. If you're testing a bunch of variations at once, this is great for seeing how impression, engagement, and overall scores change over time. You can also view previous analyses. But one of the things that we love about ShareThrough is that they not only give you a grade for your headline, they tell you how to improve that grade. As someone who identifies very, very firmly with Tracy Flick in election, I love knowing how to do better. Uh, one of the most common pieces of feedback they give is to lengthen your headline. Uh, the more the merrier when it comes to this, and it's a great opportunity to play around with some longer tail keywords that may be very useful for an overall SEO strategy. They also recommend a limited use of positive sentiment, sad but true. Uh, but the key with this is to present a solution to whatever problem you are describing. And hopefully that's a solution that your organization is working towards and a solution that the reader can help get in on, whether that's through making a donation, signing up for more uh, information, or showing up to an event. In keeping with the limited use of positive sentiment, ShareThrough also recommends using headlines in your, uh, keywords rather, in your headline that they refer to as alert words. These are words like afraid, scare, risk, or alarm. Those are very useful and very uh, potent words for people to click on. They also recommend a limited use of the passive voice. And they also have a PDF that they link to of over a thousand keywords that they refer to as context words. Now, these are keywords that they have proven through their own data to be most effective in getting people to that top right quadrant of the FOG behavioral model. And they can be bucketed into larger categories like keywords relating to time or context. So we can see again, we're setting people up with a motivation, a question that we're planting and the answer you have to click through to get. I'm Olivia with Whole Whale, and we actually started our new year with a resolution to build better content, and that includes our latest installment of Whole Whale University on just that. Beginning to end from the technical setup to writing the content itself, how to grow your organic traffic year over year by 20%. And you can find that course on wholewhale.com university. You can get also uh, more awesome treats from our YouTube channel here. Uh, you can also subscribe below to have the latest delivered to your inbox. And if there are any other tools that you'd like us to cover on a future episode of Whole Whale TV, you can tweet them at us at Whole Whale.